They are the master architects of the natural world, the silent predators in every corner of our planet. But long before they spun the intricate webs we know today, their ancestors were humble crawlers in a prehistoric world. This is the 400 million year saga of how spiders survived multiple mass extinctions, pioneered biological warfare, and became the ultimate survivors. This is the evolution of the spider. From the hulking hairy tarantula to the sleek deadly widow, spiders are among Earth's most diverse and successful predators. With over 50,000 species discovered, they inhabit nearly every terrestrial ecosystem on the planet, hiding in crevices, lurking in burrows, or reigning from elaborate thrones of silk. But these eight-legged masters of ambush weren't always so sophisticated. Their story begins a long time before the dinosaurs, a story of survival, innovation, and conquest. Our journey starts in the Devonian period, around 380 million years ago. In the primitive, swampy forests of ancient North America, a tiny, spider-like arachnid named Atercopus crawled along the forest floor preying on other early arthropods. Atercopus was not a true spider, but a proto-spider. It held the key to the future of its lineage, the ability to produce silk. Its abdomen was dotted with primitive spigots that extruded silken fibers, not as the precise strands we see today, but as crude, shapeless mats. This early silk wasn't for hunting, it was for protection to line its burrow and shield its precious eggs from a dangerous world. The first true spiders emerged much later, during the Carboniferous period, over 300 million years ago. In ancient forests of fern and club moss, the Mesothelii began their reign. And remarkably, they are still with us. Over 100 species of this ancient group survive today in Southeast Asia giving us an extraordinary living window into the deep past. Before spiders ever conquered the air with webs, Mesotheli mastered the ground. They were patient ambush hunters, crafting burrows with ingenious trap doors lined with silken tripwires. When an unsuspecting insect brushed against a strand, the vibrations triggered a sudden, explosive attack. This passive strategy was a game changer, allowing them to conserve energy while other predators exhausted themselves in pursuit of prey. But their innovations didn't stop at silk. The mesotheli perfected a new weapon, venom. Injected through their fangs, this venom was a master key, serving two deadly purposes. First, it was a weapon to paralyze and kill prey even those larger than the spider itself. Second, it was a digestive tool. Spiders cannot chew solid food. Instead, their venom, packed with potent enzymes, begins to liquefy the victim's insides from within. This gruesome but brilliant strategy, known as extraoral digestion, allowed them to consume their prey completely, leaving nothing to waste. For millions of years, mesotheli were the only spiders on Earth. But then, the planet faced its greatest challenge. The Permian-Triassic extinction, the Great Dying, which wiped out nearly 70% of all terrestrial life. In the ashes of this global catastrophe, new ecosystems emerged, and in them, spiders diversified. A new group arose, the Mygalomorphs, the ancestors of modern-day tarantulas and funnel-web spiders. Known for their powerful bodies and formidable downward-pointing fangs, most mygalomorphs doubled down on the ambush strategy. They hunted from burrows, waiting for victims to stumble into their grasp. However, some, like the tarantulas, became more active hunters, leaving their homes to overpower prey with sheer size and strength. As the Triassic gave way to the Jurassic, the third and final group of spiders made their debut, the Araniomorphs. These were different. Their fangs were pincer-like, pointing diagonally, giving them a more versatile bite. But their true advantage was a highly refined venom that targeted the nervous system, causing rapid paralysis, 
or death. For a time, both mygalomorphs and araniomorphs were effective hunters in the shadows of the dinosaurs. But during the Cretaceous period, as flying insects evolved more sophisticated wings and defenses, the araniomorphs made their greatest evolutionary leap. They took to the air. They invented the complex aerial spider web. This was the beginning of an evolutionary arms race. As insects got better at flying, spiders got better at catching them. The first orb weavers constructed vast geometric nets in the forest canopy, perfectly designed to intercept the flight paths of beetles, wasps, and flies. Meanwhile, tangleweb spiders, like the ancestors of black widows, built their messy, irregular webs closer to the ground, preying on crawling insects like ants. The reign of the dinosaurs ended with another cataclysmic extinction, the KPG event. While 75% of all species vanished, the spiders once again emerged relatively unscathed. In the Cenozoic era that followed, they didn't just survive, they thrived. As flowering plants spread across the globe, so did their insect pollinators. This created a smorgasbord for spiders, who evolved incredible new hunting strategies. Crab spiders developed camouflage, blending perfectly with flower petals to ambush bees and butterflies. The bola spider took deception to another level, emitting pheromones that mimic female moths to lure unsuspecting males to their doom. They even conquered the challenge of dispersal. Using a technique called ballooning, young spiders release a strand of silk and ride the winds for hundreds of kilometers, colonizing new lands like tiny eight-legged explorers. In recent millennia, spiders have faced a new formidable challenge, humanity. Deforestation, Pesticides and habitat loss have taken a toll on many species. A 2020 study, for example, revealed that populations of the European garden spider had collapsed by over 99% in some regions. And yet, their story of resilience continues. Many species have adapted to our world with remarkable success. The common house spider thrives in the corners of our homes, acting as a natural pest controller. Orb weavers build their webs around our artificial lights, taking advantage of the insects drawn to the glow. The 400 million year history of the spider is a testament to the power of adaptation. Through key innovations like silk, venom, and the aerial web, they have exploited countless niches and survived planetary disasters. While some populations may face threats today, if their evolutionary epic has taught us anything, it is that spiders are, and always have been, the ultimate survivors.